Thor News presents Comet C-2012 S1 Ison. WTF NASA. Seriously, bro. Part 4. Double dusted. da 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 In part 1, we went over how NASA had said this was going to be the comet of the century and could be up to 15 times as bright as the full moon. So I asked, Dear NASA, could you pretty please point one of your big old fancy billion dollar telescope cameras at Comet Ison? In part 2, we talked about how the comet is not brightening as expected and is bigger than expected. We asked them, pretty please, if you like it and you want it, put a camera on it. And part 3, Three, we covered the funny Hubble trouble where they put the Hubble on it and took a single photograph. Then I had to ask, pretty please, can you please put a motion picture camera on it? Now come along and join me for part four where we get double dusted. It's gonna be magic. And now, the latest word from NASA. Comet Ison Meteor Shower, presented by Science at NASA. Anticipation is building as Comet Ison plunges into the inner solar system for a close encounter with the sun in November 2013. Whoa, let me stop you right there, dude. Why you gotta use plunge? Plunge is usually associated with either a plunger and a toilet, or plunge has a negative connotation, like her car plunged off a bridge. Well, the moose population has plunged in recent years. Or like the stock market plunged yesterday. Oh no, hey, really the other day. Gold WTF plunged on the same day as the Boston bombing. And if you guys openly acknowledge that everybody is anticipating this comet unlike any comet before anticipation is building why can't you please give us a good video of comet ison why not just put a whole camera on it and let's just watch it whenever like ison cam the sun grazer will likely become one of the finest comets in many years when nasa's swift spacecraft observed the comet in january 2013 it was still near the orbit of jupiter but already very active oh really well, I guess I'm going to have to take your word for it because all you guys have given us is a piece of crap photograph from the Hubble. You did it. You managed to take a bad photo with the Hubble. I mean, this guy at IsonNews.com, he shot a movie with his backyard camera, and I can already get more information from it than anything you guys have given us. No no disrespect, no offense. I'm just saying work with this, man. I mean, we're looking at it here, and yeah, it's tracking a bunch of crap with it. It's got a bunch of dust and looks like debris. And if you are going to stick with just taking photographs with the Hubble, could you at least switch it from black and white? to color a comets have colorful properties get an idea of this thing if we see what color it is and b it's 2013 not 1932 that color's normal man come on but already very active 12,000 pounds of dust were spewing from the comet's nucleus every minute it turns out some of that dust might end up on earth uh hey WTF. Veteran meteor researcher Paul Weigert of the University of Western Ontario has been using a computer to model the trajectory of dust ejected by Comet Ison, and his findings suggest that an unusual meteor shower could be in the offing. Stop in the name of WTF, dude. Seriously. Offing? Offing? That's usually associated with, like, gangsters. Like, offing people. Can you not be so cryptic? in your couched verbiage, please. The fact that you're using a rainbow reading voice to use these cryptic creepy words is very unsettling. Creeping me out, man. For several days around January 12, 2014, Earth will pass through a For several days around January 12, 2014, Earth will pass through a stream of fine-grained debris from common ice on. The resulting shower could have some interesting properties. For one thing, it could dust the surface of the Earth. Oh, hey, so it's just dust. That sounds totally normal and fine. Nothing to worry about. The debris stream is populated with extremely tiny grains of dust, no more than a few microns wide. Oh, so it's super tiny, super creepy, like krypton -y dust. I mean, even if that stuff is only a micron big, if you pile up a gazillion microns, right, that's gonna, that's gonna, you can make a mountain out of microns, I would think. Yeah, so like if you breathe it, can you breathe in? Is there like a minimum, maximum amount you can breathe in? Bill Cook of NASA's Meteoroid Environment Office says there's little danger to Earth orbiting spacecraft. These particles are just too small to penetrate the walls of our satellites and they don't stand a chance against the heavy shielding of the ISS. Oh yeah, the, the heavily plated space station sounds safe. What about my lungs, or your lungs, or my future girlfriend's lungs, man? I mean, it's not gonna hurt my imaginary girlfriend, I don't think, but future, I think I'll have a real one. I don't want her dying of micron inhalation. No more than a few microns wide. They will be hitting at a speed of 56 kilometers a second. Oh, great. Now I feel much better. Dear future girlfriend, could you please find me ASAP? Thank you. Because the particles are so small, they will be rapidly slow to a stop in Earth's upper atmosphere. Instead of burning up in a flash of light, they will drift gently down to the Earth below, he says. Oh, great. Now I feel much better. Dear future girlfriend, could you please find me ASAP? Thank you. Don't expect to notice, though. The invisible rain of comet dust, if it occurs, would be very slow. 
It can take months or even years for fine dust to settle out of the high atmosphere. What about ages? Could it take ages? Could it take ice ages? Hey, thanks for giving me the picture of the colorful umbrella. That made me feel very calm. Another unusual manifestation of the shower could be noctilucent clouds. Noctilucent clouds are electric blue clouds that float high above Earth's poles. Could it take ages? Could it take ice ages? Recent data from NASA's Ames spacecraft suggests that they are seeded by space dust. Tiny meteoroids act as nucleating points where water molecules gather. The resulting ice crystals assemble into clouds at the edge of space itself. Could it take ages? Could it take ice ages? This is still speculative, but common ice on could provide the seeds for a noctilucent display. Right now, it's all speculative, which is more reason to put the Hubble on it and let us see everything that is going on. Comet sounds fascinating. It sounds like it's filled with never-ending surprises. So please, pretty please, can you please put a motion picture camera on? Weigert notes yet another curiosity. Are you serious? I'm a bit filled up on surprises, man. The shower is going to hit our planet from two directions at once. When Earth passes through the debris stream, we will encounter two populations of comet dust. One swarm of dust will be following common ice on into the sun. Another swarm will be moving in the opposite direction, pushed away from the sun by solar radiation pressure. The streams will pepper opposite sides of Earth simultaneously. Give me too many surprises at once. It's hard for me to keep my doom alarm off with all this dust, dusted, double dusted micron. Forget being dusted. I'm gonna go get a beer or two. I I've had enough. I should have fake interviewed PR girl from NASA. That's what I should have done. But I'd be feeling way better right about now. <laughs> Matt Miller, come on, bro. We are in the bro club of Zero Hedge. Let me come down to your studios in New York, and I will not use this cheesy accent, and I will give my plea to have NASA put the Hubble motion picture camera on Common Ice. Telling you, this is the story of the year. Hey, and Tyler Durden, while we're at it, ain't it time for a Common Ice article on Zero Hedge, bro? Well, God bless everyone. Be like I got a sneeze. That was a horrible dust joke. Talk to you guys soon. I'm gonna go get a beer. Stay tuned for the next. Oh, and on that note, I've put a PayPal button for donations on my YouTube channel because I think if I'm going to make it to Comet Ison, WTF NASA Part 7, I'm going to have to up my security detail. That is not a joke. Oh, great. Now I feel much better. Dear future girlfriend, could you please find me ASAP? Thank you. And on that note of notes, Liz Lee, can I get a damn hug? You never know. If you like it and you want it, put a camera on it. NASA's not going to put a camera on it. Because it is double peak. I don't think you're ready for this comet. I don't think you're ready for this comet. I don't think you're ready for this comet. This comet is too comedy delicious for you, babe. Hey, look at that. Comet Ison has a friend with it. I guess everybody can feel better now. Comet Ison has a friend. Count them. One, two. Hello, Dave. Okay, cool. God bless everyone. Be good to the people around you. Why don't you jet propulsion lab your ass to show us what the deal is? Oh.